start getting ready for the warm ups the first practice is tadasan so you can start from here directly <coughs> raise your hands up and focus your attention at one point keep your feet flat on the floor and try to raise your right leg up only as far as you can comfortably raise it and then slowly bring it down now take the left leg up slowly bring it back and then bring your hands from the side and wait for some time <clears throat> in the second round you're going to breathe in while you're taking the hands up breathe out while you're taking the turning the palms upwards breathe in while you're taking your hands up hold your breath and then lift your leg up then slowly bring your leg back breathe in and again hold your breath and lift your other leg up slowly bring your leg back to rest hold your breath breathing out bring both the hands down now in the last round you're going to introduce a mental imagination so as you are breathing in you're going to visualize that your hands are very smoothly going up as you're breathing out you feel your wrist rotating nicely as you're breathing in you are mentally visualizing that your hands are stretching out wonderfully and as you lift your leg up you mentally visualize that the leg is horizontal to the ground and at right angles to your hip joint slowly bring your leg back now breathe out and then breathe in again and then raise your left leg up mentally visualize your leg is at right angles to the hip joint sorry and then very slowly release your leg bring your leg back to rest on the ground hold your breath and then slowly bring your hands from the side breathing out wait for some time and now we'll do <coughs> kati chakrasan dynamic so breathing in bring your hands up mentally visualize that your uh, i'll just demonstrate once you watch it and then you mentally visualize that your spine is rotating wonderfully as you do this practice and you're able to rotate completely and turn to the other side and then when you're breathing in you're coming back and again mentally visualize you are rotating your spine wonderfully to the other side optimizing the rotation and then you come back so one round you do this with mental visualization and then we'll progressively go into dynamic so get ready breathing in both the hands at the shoulder level very slow breathing out slowly rotate to the right side slowly breathing in come back hold your breath breathing out rotate to the left side mentally visualize your spine is rotating wonderfully and then slowly breathing in come back hold your breath very slowly bring your hands from the sides now what you're going to do is first round you will go slow second round you'll increase the speed a little bit and slowly slowly you'll keep increasing the speed and coming to rapid position okay so start very slow rotation to the side coming back very slow rotation to the left coming back slightly faster coming back slightly more faster and now really rapid 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 9 9 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 and relax 
allow the breathing to become normal. Now sideways bend, again slow and then dynamic. So breathing in, raise both the hands up, interlace them, hold your breath. Breathing out, mentally visualize your body is nicely bending to the right side. And then slowly come back, mentally visualizing your body is bending nicely to the left side. Come back. Now a little faster to the right, come back. A little faster to the left, come back. And now fast. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Bring your hands down and mentally visualize your entire spinal cord has relaxed completely. And the whole spinal cord is like a spring now. You have accentuated the functioning of all the vertebrae. Your sideways bend is optimized. Your forward and backward bend is optimized. And now you will do the backward bend. Keep your hands at the back. Take a deep breath in as you bend, breathe out, bend backwards only as far as you can comfortably bend, but mentally visualize your body is horizontal to the ground. Slowly breathing in, come back, hold your breath. Second note again, mentally visualize your body bending at the hip joint nicely. The upper torso is virtually parallel to the ground. Slowly come up. Last round on your own. And then slowly come to a sitting position and relax. Be in either Kapal Badi or in simple yogic breathing. If you are in simple yogic breathing, try to synchronize your breath with the chanting of Gayatri Mantra. So for one Gayatri, you are breathing in, expanding your abdomen, then expanding your chest, then expanding your shoulder and clavicle. Hold for one Gayatri and then for one Gayatri Mantra, you are breathing out. Start. Get ready to chant mantra Om seven times. Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Om, creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. I am creating three layers of protection. On the outermost layer, I have six friendly creatures. An elephant behind me, a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head and a black tortoise below me. 
inside of that of a big ring with balls of fire i am lighting all the balls allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around me third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra om that i am chanting take your awareness to muladhara chakra four petal lotus red color keep your mudra for muladhara chakra the <coughs> little finger and the ring finger interlace middle finger stretched out ring index and thumb rotating around each other visualize that you are balancing your tamasic and rajasic qualities and you are sharpening your satvic quality take a deep breath in uh Shift awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra. Change your mudra for Swadhisthana Chakra. <clears throat> Visualize six petal lotus, orange color. You will increase your pitch further. Visualizing that you are balancing your Ida and Pingala nadis, and you are sharpening your Shushumna nadi, making provision for Kundalini to rise up. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. Ah. Shift your awareness to Manipura Chakra. Change your mudra for Manipura Chakra. Ten petal lotus, yellow color. <coughs> you will visualize that you are <clears throat> balancing i mean you are removing all the energy blockages from the pancha koshas annamaya pranamaya manomaya vigyanamaya and anandamaya take a deep breath in a Shift awareness to Anahata Chakra. Change your mudra for Anahata Chakra. Twelve petal lotus, green color. You will increase your pitch further, visualizing that you are balancing all the pancha tattvas in your body. <laughs> Prithvi, Apas, Agni, Vayu, and Akash. Take a deep breath in. Ah. Shift awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat pit. Sixteen petal lotus, blue color. Change your mudra for Vishuddhi Chakra. You're going to visualize that you're balancing the three humors in your body: <laughs> Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. Take a deep breath in. Now shift your awareness to Agni Chakra behind your eyebrows. Center two petal lotus, indigo color. You will increase pitch further, visualizing that you are piercing your Jagrat, Swapna, Shushupti, Avastha, and you are entering into the superconscious. Take a deep breath in. Ah. Shift your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head. Change your mudra for Sahasrara Chakra. Thumb should not touch your head. 
slightly above the Sakasthara Chakra. You will visualize that you are piercing through all blockages and merging back with your Creator. Take a deep breath in. <coughs> Shanti mantras. <coughs> Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinamaditamastu Mavidishavahai Om Shanti 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 Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. <clears throat> Pay attention to your Mudra. If there is any tightness, let your awareness lead you to relax them. If you need to stretch your legs, please feel free to do so. And you can keep them stretched till we complete the Sankalpa. <clears throat> Make your Sankalpa. I am chanting Mahamritin Jaya Mantra. For physical health and mental well being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other. I can feel your grace, my Lord, penetrating deep into my body. Energizing each and every brain cell and body cell, keeping me in pristine health at all times. I bow down before you, thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health. And I promise to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body in a healthy condition, be fitting for you to reside inside my body. In your effulgent form. Eleven times. <clears throat> Get ready. Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Iva Pandhanam Rityur Mukshi Yamam Vitaat Om Triyambakam Yajamage Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam iva bandhanam rityur mukshi imamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pushti vardhanam Urvarukam iva bandhanam rityur mukshi imamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pushti vardhanam Purvaru kamiva bandhanan rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Purvaru kamiva bandhanan rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Purvaru kamiva bandhanam rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Purvaru kamiva bandhanam rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Urvaru kamiva bandhanan rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam vijamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Urvaru kamiva bandhanan rityur mukshi yamamritat Om triyambakam vijamage sugandhim pashti vardhanam Purvaru kamiva bandhanan, rityur mukshi yamamritat.
Slowly release your mudra and be in the vibrations of the mantras for a little while. If you need to stretch your legs, please feel free to do so. I'll now introduce you to the concept of connecting with the chakras when you chant the mantras. So for the first round of chanting, you will visualize that your awareness is a deep beneath the ground at the Patal. In the second round, you will visualize that your awareness is between the Patal and your Muladhara Chakra. From the third round onwards, I will give you instructions. I'll say Muladhar. So you take your attention to Muladhar. Visualize a four petal lotus and a bright light in the center at Muladhara Chakra. So when I say Swadishtan, you will shift your attention to Swadishtan. Visualize a six petal lotus with a bright light in the center. And you will keep coming like that. After Aknya Chakra, I will say Bindu, which is at the center of the back of your head where uh, people have a shendi coming out that is the point of bindu so you'll visualize a dark black circle there and in that middle of the dark black circle there is a white light and then sahasrara thousand petal and a white light in between at the center so that will complete 10 rounds and then after that you will visualize that your entire body is purified when you chant the 11th round. So keep your hands in Gyan Mudra. <coughs> Take your awareness to Patal. Gayatri Mantra 11 times. <coughs> Get ready. <coughs> Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyoyona Prajodayat Between Patal and Swadish Amal Muladhar, second round. Take a deep breath in. Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyoyona Prajodayat Muladhar. Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat swadishtan Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat Manipur Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat anahata om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsavitur varinyam bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat vishuddhi om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsavitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat agnya Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat Bindu Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat sahasra Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi diyo yona prajodayat Om bhur bhuvasvaha tatsa vitur varinyam Bargo divasya dimahi, 
ಪ್ರಜೋದಯೂನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ನಾವು ನೀವು ಚಾಂತ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ವಿಶಲೈಸ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಳಿ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು and from her eyebrow center a bright light is coming and enveloping you and and entering your body from each and every pore in the skin energizing your body that's your visualization you can stretch your legs if you feel so keep your hands in yoni mudra visualize the image of kali in front of you three times get ready <laughs> ದುರ್ಗಾ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರೀ ಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪದ್ಮಿ ನಿವಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಶ್ಚೇದಿ ದುರ್ಗಸ್ವಾದಿ ದುರ್ಗನಾಶಿ ದುರ್ಗದಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಿಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಪ ದುರ್ಗಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗದೈತ್ಯಲೋಕದ ಬಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗಮಾ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗಮ ವೇದ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಭಾಷಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಹಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಬಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ದುರ್ಗ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರಿ ಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪದ್ಮಿ ನಿವಾರಿಣಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಶ್ಚೇದಿ ದುರ್ಗಸ್ವಾದಿ ದುರ್ಗನಾಶಿ ದುರ್ಗದಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಿಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಪ ದುರ್ಗಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗ ನೈತ್ಯ ಲೋಕದ ವಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗಮ ದುರ್ಗಮೋಕ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗಮ ವೇದ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ದುರ್ಗಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಭಾಷಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಹಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಬುರ್ಗಧಾರಿಣಿ ಓಂ ದುರ್ಗಾ ದುರ್ಗಾತ್ರಿ ಶಮನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪದ್ಮಿ ನಿವಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಶ್ಚೇದಿ ದುರ್ಗಸ್ವಾದಿ ದುರ್ಗನಾಶಿ ದುರ್ಗದಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ನಿಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಪ ದುರ್ಗಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ದುರ್ಗದೈತ್ಯ ಲೋಕದ ಬಾನಲ ದುರ್ಗಮ ದುರ್ಗಮಲೋಕ ದುರ್ಗಮಾತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದ ದುರ್ಗಮ ವೇದ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾನ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಭಾಷಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಮೋಹ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಹಾ ದುರ್ಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಸುರ ಸಂಹಂತ್ರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಯುಧಾರಿ ದುರ್ಗಮಾಂಗೀ ದುರ್ಗಮತ ದುರ್ಗಮ್ಯ ದುರ್ಗಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ದುರ್ಗ ಭೀಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಭಾಮ ದುರ್ಗ ಬುರ್ಗಧಾರಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ
Hari Slowly release your mudra and be in absolute silence. Feel the vibrations of the mantra and also feel the steadiness of your body as well as the steadiness of your mind. <clears throat> then gently open your eyes, be open for some time. How to keep your head in the position? I learned from one of my fellow students a very nice technique, so I'll teach you that. And then you adjust yourself. Keep one hand in front of the neck and the other hand at the back. And then very slowly bend your neck forward, feel the contraction of the muscles in the front. And then slowly bring your head back to the center and slowly bend backwards and feel the contraction of the back. Now adjust your head forward backward in such a way that you feel no contraction in the front and no contraction at the back. And that's your neutral position. And stay in that position with your eyes closed for the meditation. So every time become aware of it. If you feel a slight contraction in the front side of the neck, you're bending forward. If you're feeling a contraction at the back, you're bending a little backward. Adjust your neck and try to be in neutral as much as possible. Unless you're practicing something which requires you to either bend forward or bend backwards. Now slowly become aware of any externalities, any sounds coming from outside the room. And try to consciously disconnect your mind from that sound. And see if you can bring your attention to the room where you are sitting. And can you pick the subtle vibrational sounds of the cosmic energy that goes on 24 by 7. See if your antenna can pick it up and be in the awareness of only that sound that will automatically exclude all the alternate sounds coming from elsewhere. Now pay attention to your own body, pay attention to your sit bones and see how they are connecting to the ground and there is a weight distribution of your body. If you have an even distribution then both the right glute sitting bone and the left sitting bone will press equally against the ground and if not one side will be pressing more than the other which means the weight of the body is tilted slightly towards that side. If you feel one side of the body is weighted more than the other, try and see if you can slightly make adjustments in your posture without disturbing your neck equilibrium and see if that adjustment of the posture makes the weight evenly distributed. And if it doesn't happen, don't worry too much about it. Just be aware of which side continues to be weighted more. Now bring your awareness to your own breath. And watch the trajectory of the breath. Observe it as it goes in. Saying to yourself, I am breathing in. Trace it all the way into the lungs. Expanding your abdomen, chest and shoulder. Taking as much of breath as you can. Hold your breath and say to yourself, I'm holding my breath. And while you're breathing out, say to yourself, I'm breathing out and observe the breath coming out from the lungs, through the windpipe, out through the nostrils, into the atmosphere. Hold your breath outside and say to yourself, I'm holding my breath outside.
In the next round, chant Gayatri as you're breathing in, expanding your abdomen, chest, shoulder, and clavicle. Hold your breath for chanting of one Gayatri. If you cannot hold it, please release. Breathing out, chant one Gayatri. Hold your breath outside for one Gayatri. Second round, breathing in, one Gayatri. Holding for one Gayatri. Breathing out for one Gayatri. Holding out for one Gayatri. Now breathe in for one Gayatri and hold for two. Breathe out. Hold for two. And now start bringing your attention in front of your Chitakash, the space in front of your forehead. And try and see absolute total darkness. This darkness is expanding on all sides. Wherever you can see in the front, in the back, on the right, on the left, above you, everything is an infinitely expanding black space. And your mind is, I mean your soul is in that dark space. It is unfettered by this body and it is free to roam around. So feel yourself roaming in space in all directions. As you observe yourself roaming around in space, See if any colors change in the Chitakash area. If any thoughts come in, just become aware of the thought coming in and tell the thought I'll deal with you later. I'm doing Chitakash meditation, so come back later. As you keep roaming in space, experiencing the darkness, see a bright light emerging. You are going towards that light. As you go closer, it becomes brighter and brighter, stronger and stronger. You suddenly realize it is the creator. You surrender yourself completely in front of the creator. And as you surrender, the white light is completely absorbing you, sucking you inside. And feel that you are now going deep inside that white light. You've lost all sense of time, all sense of space, ensconced within the white light, deep inside the Creator. Feel some kind of an energy pulling you and feel yourself enconced in the fetal position. You realize you are inside the womb of 
the cosmic mother hiranya garbha it's a golden womb you are inside that womb Now, as you are lying inside in that fetal position, feel each and every cell in your body is getting replaced. All the cells which are defective are being pulled out and are replaced with very good effective cells. Now, feel yourself emerging out of the Iranya Garbha. and some force is pulling you down in the dark space and feel yourself entering your own body once you enter your body be aware of your own body the sit bones your posture become aware of your own breathing become aware of sounds in the room become aware of sounds outside of the room gently turn your head from side to side toggle the head up and down then gently rub your hands keep them on your eyes then gently open your eyes and slowly release your hands hari om tat sat we're going to practice cat stretch today with some variations so be get ready for it so lie down on your back if you want to watch first you can watch you're going to keep your hands along the shoulder palms facing the sky as you arch your lower belt line you will roll your hands forward as you flatten you will roll your hands backward and sorry as you arch you will roll the hands forward bring your chin closer to the chest as you flatten the lower back you will roll the head backwards the head is along the ground you will take your palms rotating backwards now when you start the first movement i want that movement to be very micro movement very small arch and as you flatten that movement is also very small you will do this small movement for three rounds and then you will increase the arch a little bit and then flatten a little more as you arch feel your tailbone touching the ground as you flatten feel your tailbone raising from the ground so get ready hands by the side of the shoulder along the shoulder sorry palms facing the sky legs bend feet on the ground both the legs are in front of the glutes and in the level of your shoulder breathe out completely as you breathe in make a micro arch roll your hand forward bring your chin closer to the chest as you breathe out small micro flattening hands rolling backward head goes a little bit second round breathing in arch small the chin only goes a little way it doesn't go all the way to the chest as you flatten roll your arms backwards small flattening as you breathe in small arch as you breathe out small flattening hands rolling back this time as you breathe in make the arch bigger feel the tailbone closer to the ground bring the chin closer to the chest 
and as you flatten flatten nicely feel the tailbone raising more from the ground roll the head nicely backward roll the hands backward and feel the difference in the two movements breathing in rolling forward chin closer to the chest arch nicely tailbone presses nicely against the ground breathing out flatten tailbone comes up roll the hand backwards head backwards continue for two more rounds and then relax <clears throat> <clears throat> Slowly complete your round and then relax. Don't be in a hurry, you take your time. Relax. And now you're going to bring both your hands under your head. Bend both your legs. And once again, as you breathe in, you're going to arch and make a small movement. And as you breathe out, you're going to bring your head up, bring your elbows, only partially come up. Don't come up fully. If you want, watch once. Small arch, as you breathe out, come up only this much. And then when we accentuate the movement, at that time you will come up more. Okay, start. Breathing in, small arch, head comes up a little bit from the ground, elbows bend towards each other a little bit. As you flatten, allow your head and elbows to go flat to the ground, lower back flattens. <clears throat> Second round, breathing in, small arch, small movement of the head and the elbow. As you breathe out, head and elbows go down to the ground, small flattening. Third round, small arch, breathing in, small flattening, breathing out. Now increase the arch. As you breathe in, nicely, tailbone presses as you breathe out. Bring your head up as much as you can. Bring elbows closer to each other. Slowly release, breathing in, arching the lower belt line. As you breathe out, bring your head up, elbows closer to each other. Flatten the lower back. Third round. Very good. Fourth round. And last round. Breathing in, arching. Tailbone touches the ground. Feel it. As you breathe out, tailbone raises. And then come back to rest and relax. Stretch your legs out. And relax. Wait for some time. Just this one movement. What exactly can you experience? And as you're lying there, pay attention to how the heels are pressing against the ground. How the calf muscles are pressing. What can you experience about the back of your knees? What about the thighs? How are they pressing against the ground? the glutes and the spinal vertebrae. Can you sense the spinal vertebrae touching the ground? <coughs> shoulders. Can you feel the back of the shoulders gracing the ground? Both your arm, <coughs> elbow, forehand and hand. How are they resting against the ground? Finally, pay attention to the back of your head. 
and then once you've experienced it very slowly turn on your stomach You're going to bring your hand in front of your face, right hand in front of the face, face is turned towards your right elbow and in this position you're going to practice five times very slowly. First time you'll come only this much and then very slowly come back. In the second round raise a little more and then slowly come back. In the third round, raise even more, slowly come back. And then two more rounds at this level. And then you will turn to the other side. So opposite leg has to come up. Be aware of that. So hand in front, face turned towards the right elbow, right hand in front. As you inhale, lift your elbow, chin, palm and the opposite leg only a little bit from the ground. And very slowly come back. Very slowly come back. You can chant <coughs> just Om Namah Shivaya four times or five times while going up. And I mean, since you're raising it up only a little, say three times, and then come down for six times. Start. A little more than last time. I'm going to raise a little more than last time. And slowly come back. Count how many times you are chanting Om Namah Shivaya as you return. Third round, little more than the last time. Slowly come back. Palm also comes up, correct. Very good. Slowly come back. Now go as much as you can comfortably go. Feel the muscles along the shoulder contracting along the right side of your spine contracting as you come up your gluteal muscles contracting as you bring yourself back to rest all these muscles are being reset subri you are putting in more than required effort that's why the jerk is happening so reduce the height reduce the height slowly come back last round very slowly come back. And now, release your right hand to the side of the body. Bring your left hand in front. Turn your face to the left side, looking at your left elbow. Make sure that your elbow is not above your shoulder level. Try to keep your elbow at the level of your shoulder. Uh, Subri, elbow thoda. Huh. At the level of the shoulder, correct. Now, very slowly raise, breathing in, raise your elbow, palm, head, opposite leg. Opposite leg, correct. Very slowly release, only a little bit. Wait for some time. Second round, increase the height a little more than what you did last time. And very slowly come back. <clears throat> Each time as you increase the height, feel what difference you can feel on the back side of your body. Those are the areas where you are contracting the muscle. Experience it. Next round, chanting Om Namah Shivaya as you go up. And chanting more number of Om Namah Shivaya as you return. Be in your own counting. But make sure your return count is more, if possible, at least one and a half times. And if it is really possible, double the count for coming back. Now go up a little more. Slowly come back chanting Om Namah Shivaya. And now two rounds to the full extent to which you can comfortably go. Don't force it. If you feel any jerkiness, you are forcing yourself. It should be a very smooth, gradual movement. 
if you're jerking that means you're pushing yourself more than your current comfort zone so come down a little bit only as far as you can comfortably go <coughs> and then slowly turn over on your back and once again experience what changes you can experience very quickly pay attention to your heels calf back of the knees thighs glutes spinal vertebrae if you notice any change be aware of it if you notice no change be aware that there is no change <sighs> just become aware of your own self and then once again <clears throat> bend both your legs bring your right hand under your head one round you watch you will breathing in make a small arch breathing out you will raise your head and the elbow a little bit aiming the elbow in the direction of your opposite knee bringing the opposite knee closer and then release in the second round you will deepen the arch a little bit as you flatten you will come up a little more and then slowly come back and on the third round you will arch as much as you can comfortably arch as you flatten you will come as close to the opposite knee as possible and fourth and fifth round if you are very comfortable you will touch so five rounds increasing the arch bit by bit so start right hand under your head breathing in small arch breathing out flatten lift your elbow head and the opposite leg a little bit aiming in the direction of each other slowly release wait for some time feel the effect of what you did just now on the front side of the body as well as the back side <sighs> <clears throat> then breathe out completely as you breathe in arch as you breathe out flatten and then bring your elbow up a little more bring your knees a little more closer and then slowly release wait for some time again third round and now as you relax there mentally visualize that you are arching nicely mentally visualize you're flattening nicely and as you pick your head up it glides beautifully and your elbow is touching the opposite knee very comfortably and you're able to pull the opposite knee closer to your chest without any strain mentally visualize this and now breathe out completely as you breathe in arch as per your imagination let it go whatever you imagine as you breathe out bring your elbow your opposite knee closer to each other and visualize it touching very good lovely slowly come back slowly come back excellent and now last round very good slowly release and then release your legs release your hand relax and see how the right side of your body feels as compared to the left side of the body even if you notice any subtle differences between the two be aware of it
And when you're ready, bend your legs once again. Bring your left hand under your head. And once again, you will repeat three moves. This time, feeling the effect of the lower arch, micro arch, and micro movement of the head up. And slowly release. As you release, feel the decontraction of your front muscle, the rectus abdominis, and the side muscles, the obliques. Second round, increase the arch a little more. Lift your head up a little more. Bring your knees a little closer. And feel your rectus abdominis contracting a little more. And as you return, feel the rectus abdominis relaxing more. Third round with full awareness of the front muscle, the rectus abdominis. Increase your arch even more. Bring your knees and elbows even more closer to each other. And then slowly release out of that contraction. Feel the complete lengthening of your rectus abdominis. Now mentally visualize that you are arching nicely. The arch is beautifully formed. As you flatten your Coming up, gracefully gliding up. Elbow is gliding forward. Opposite knee is coming closer to the chest and the two are meeting each other without any strain. Visualize it as vividly as you can. And when you're ready, breathing in, arch. Breathing out, flatten. And then pick your head up, elbow Bring opposite side closer to each other. And then slowly come back and relax. Feel the effect. And then initiate the last move. Breathing in. Once again, release your legs and then feel how the body now feels. There should be more symmetry between the right side and the left side. If you notice any differences, either those differences have gone or they are reduced substantially. And if they have not reduced substantially, be aware that they have not reduced. And then let me know. And then I'll tell you what practices you should then put into practice to align them. And then when you're ready, turn on to your side. Your right side is on top. Left side is along the ground. Bend your legs in the chair position. Move your toes in such a way that you can see a little bit of your toes. And then you're going to bring your right hand over your head. Catch the ear on the opposite side. And now once again, you're going to do five movements, the same principles. In the first move, as you inhale, you're going to lift your top foot a little from the other foot. Raise your head a little bit and very slowly go back. Second round, you lift it a little more. And then slowly, you'll bring your head as well as your feet back to starting. Third round a little more. And then fourth and the fifth round as much as you can after visualization. So get ready. Get ready in position. Breathe out completely. Uh, Sunita, you should bring your knees a little more. It should be a chair position completely. Yeah. Uh, Smita, you also. Knees up a little more. Bus. Yeah. If it is not comfortable, then keep it where you are. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jai Shankar, bend your knees a little more. I mean, take your knees a little toward. Yeah, correct. Yes. Now, breathe out completely. Breathing in, raise your top foot and your head a little bit from the position. And then slowly return back your head as well as your foot. Catch a couple of breaths. Once again, on the inhale, raise a little more now. 
slowly return double the count if possible third round slowly return the knees should be together don't move your knee only the top foot so be aware of that once again you will go to the full extent now breathing in correct slowly return take double the count to return very good feel your gluteal muscles contracting when you are raising your head and the leg up and the side obliques contracting and when you release you are releasing the gluteal muscles as well as the obliques so get ready last round i mean uh, fourth round as much as you can raise slowly come back now visualize mentally that your head is coming up nicely and your foot is also coming up nicely almost becoming perpendicular and you are feeling your body on the side is becoming extremely flexible and then as you release your muscles are relaxing completely and now initiate the move breathing in raise as much as you can comfortably go and then slowly release out of that contraction taking twice the time that you took to come up knees together shridhar knees together only the foot goes up ah ah correct so one more time you practice relax now again turn on your back experience what you have done and then slowly change over to the other side now the left side is on top the right side is along the ground take your right left hand over your head to catch the ear at the touching the arm and then very slowly on the inhale raise your head and foot a little bit only a little bit and then slowly come back relaxing your side obliques and your gluteal muscle second round raise a little more than the previous one and very slowly taking double the time return to the starting position and when i say double the time you take your own time if you cannot wait till the double come back in your time zone now third round a little more than the last one slowly return now as you rest there mentally close your eyes and visualize your side obliques contracting nicely allowing your head to come up quite a bit and your the gluteal muscles are contracting allowing your top foot to become almost vertical <laughs> and then you are while you are relaxing all those muscles are going to new resting tone completely relaxed having put that visualization into practice now really do it breathing in go as long as you can go comfortably don't force slowly return taking more time to return as compared to the time you took to raise your head and foot up last round after taking a couple of breaths and then put the last round into practice <laughs> then slowly return so that is catch stretch number 4 that we did just now first one was simple arch and black second catch stretch 2 was elbows coming up catch stretch 3 was on the stomach now we did catch stretch 4 and now we are going to catch stretch 5 so 
in cat stretch 5 you are going to keep your legs bent but both the feet and the knees together hands are by the side along the shoulders palms facing the sky now what you are going to do rolling forward means that hand the thumb will raise towards the ceiling and roll forward to the other side backward means the little finger will come towards the ceiling and go to the floor on the other side okay now the right hand when it is rolling forward the left will roll backwards okay and the both the knees will go towards the right side right hand will roll back forwards left hand rolling backwards head turning towards the left side feel the nice cross lateral twist that you are giving to the body and then very slowly you will come back now once again we will do it in micro adjustments so in the first round you will only raise your hand a little forward legs will go only a little bit left hand will only go a little towards the other side and your face will only partially turn then you will come back second round you will take a little more and then you will come back third round you will go even closer to the ground and you will come back in the la fourth and the fifth round you will do the full movements so get ready and then you will have to go to the other side okay so the full movement is first knee is going towards the right coming back then going to the left and the side to which the knees are going that hand will roll forward the other hand will roll backward and the head will turn in that direction so get ready now very slowly as you exhale roll your right hand forward take both the knees little towards the ground to the right side the right hand and left hand moves a little and the face to the left a little bit turn the face a little then come back now move your knees to the other side so left hand rolls a little forward knees to the left side right hand rolls a little backward face a little to the left side slowly come back that's one move now the second round right hand rolling forward knees a little more towards the ground head a little more towards the left left hand rolling backward a little more slowly come back now left hand rolling a little forward knees towards the left side right hand a little backward face a little more towards the left right side slowly come back now third round you will go even closer towards the ground right hand forward knees towards the right left hand backwards face towards the left slowly come back now roll towards the left side so left hand forward knees towards the left right hand backward face towards the left slowly come back and now you'll go wait a minute you'll first visualize that your right hand is rolling nicely forward and the thumb is touching the ground your palm is flat on the ground and your knees are rolling to the right side and touching the ground your head is completely turning nicely to the left side and the left hand is nicely rolling backward and your thumb is actually touching the ground on the other side visualize this even if it doesn't happen doesn't matter imagine that it is actually happening completely visualize it and now once you have completely imagined the movement please start putting into action breathing out knees to the right right hand rolling forward left hand rolling nicely backward face completely turned to the left side slowly breathing in come back now to the other side breathing out left hand rolling forward both the knees bending toward the left side right hand rolling backward head turned to the right side and then slowly come back
now last round complete on the left side and then slowly release your legs and relax and wait for some time now the next movement is for the legs so I'll show it to you from this angle You are first going to move your right leg a little away from the body and then you are going to bend by flexing at the knees. Your right foot will come closer to the left leg and from there you will slowly raise your feet a little from the ground. Let the left side of the body turn a little up, rotating the body and then slowly release your rotation bring your feet back release your flexion of the knees and then slowly bring your feet back to the center this is the first move after you've done this you will once again move the right leg but now this time while flexing the knees you're going to take the foot outside and your knee is resting on the other leg and then slowly turning a little lift your foot up from the ground and then slowly return your foot back lengthen your leg and then bring your leg back to the midpoint okay so we'll do three three times on each side so bring both the legs close to each other at the midpoint very slowly Move your right leg away from the midline. Bend at your knees, allowing your right foot to come towards the left foot. Slowly lift your foot towards the ceiling. Wherever it can go, slowly come back. Since instead of lifting the foot so much, try to keep your knees towards the ground. Let the feet come up a little less. Release, stretch your leg and bring your leg back to the midline second round slowly bend keep your knees closer to the ground even if you lift yeah there you go very good knees to the ground knees to the ground correct only the foot coming up correct very good slowly release last round very good slowly release now move your right leg away bend the foot going away from the midline knee coming over to the other leg and then slowly lift your foot up slowly return and then lengthen your leg first and then bring your leg to the midpoint. Second round. Slowly return. Last round. slowly return and relax and then we'll start the practice on the left leg catch a couple of breaths now move your left leg away bend at the knees foot coming closer to the right leg lift your foot up slowly return your foot lengthen your leg release your knee flexion bring your left leg back to midline second round 
Slowly release. Last round. Catch a couple of breaths. Move your left leg away. Now bend in such a way that the foot is away from the ground. The knee comes closer to the midline or over the right leg. Lift your foot up. Slowly return your foot. Lengthen, releasing the knee flexion. <clears throat> Second round. And then last round. After you have completed, come back to the center and then very slowly you will turn to one side and support your body and sit up. Get ready to chant Mantra Om three times. Make your Sankalpa. I'm chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. Chant three times. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Shanti Mantras Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritam Gamaya Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Trayambakam Yajamage Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvar Kamiva Pandhanam Rithyur Mukshiyama Prithat Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Rub your hands nicely and when they are really warm keep them on your eyes feel the warmth flowing in from palm to the eyes and then gently open your eyes be observant of colors you see when you open 
and then slowly release your hands hari om tat sat hari om tat sat hari om tat sat so we couldn't do cat stretch 8 so in the next class we will do the last portion that we did 7 and cat stretch 8 and then take other practices so bye